Life sometimes gets the best of us. We feel that we're the only people on earth with problems. Living in a first world country can feel troublesome. Our fancy infrastructure, accessible resources is not enough for us and do not give our citizens true happiness. I want you to place yourself in the shoes of human beings in third world countries. I reached out and interviewed various cities and first world countries throughout the world to get their take on those living in poverty and compared and contrast their responses with the natives of Sierra Leone in Africa. Great philosopher Aristotle says, happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life, the whole aim and the end of human existence. The first world country, they, they have anything, everything in their possession, like technology is going fast, improvement the roads, you know, facility, infrastructure, very good, you know, standard of living is good. But here we find it difficult, like, it's hard over here, you know, like the third world country, we don't have it, everything in common. You have to, you have to work hard, you know, like you have to find somewhere to sleep. It's not easy to get food. It's not easy, even clothing, close to work. I chose in my shoes because I really feel that um, kids and students in Los Angeles really take for granted, you know, certain resources in which you know, they don't utilize to their, their full potential. So I wanted to make a film in which I can show uh, a differentiation between a first world society and a third world society of how they feel more, more appreciative of certain things such as clothes, education, and sports. Poverty is too much. Poverty is too much and then, let me see, we are suffering from so many things. You know, not to be compared with the state. You know, got the state. Um, there are some facilities that they they have that we Africans we don't have. For instance, the, the medical facilities and the sanitation and um, the educational facility too. Uh, more far far ahead than Africa. So, is the reason why um, I love the state more than here because the state is more more, more, and far better than here. In regards to living in the United States, I mean, I, I love the United States. I mean, it's a great country to live in. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best because I, I haven't been everywhere in the world. But, um, you know, when I need water, I have water. Um, when, you know, a lot of my resource, a lot of things that I need are taken care of because of so many resources that we have here in the United States. And um, it's one of those things that's kind of selfish for a lot of Americans because, um, you know, we use a lot of the resources in the world. Um, so it is somewhat of a blessing to live in the United States. My perception growing up of what I thought a third world country was, was uh, kind of those, those commercials that you see on TV with the kid with his bloated stomach and the flies flying around him and such and such. And there's a lot of hunger and, and there's this sense of helplessness and, and such and such. Um, my perception of that uh, in, in some ways changed when I actually met some folks from around there. The people of Sierra Leone, Africa are beautiful people. The aspiration, the positive energy of change that they expel gives them the extra drive in their character. Michael Kamara, the director over Bamber United, informs them about my arrival from the States. These kids use the football outlet as an escape from the impoverished streets of Freetown. Because sort of being from London uh, or being from Manchester, you know, we've had all these opportunities and I'm able to travel, I was able to come to London to study. I imagine if you're in a federal country, um, you'd be a lot, almost a lot more stuck there. Um, there'd be less opportunities and I imagine with that you'd sort of be a lot more at home um, with your village, you know, sort of uh, perhaps a much more friendlier place, especially when we talk about London and so many people that busy themselves around, um, don't really communicate as much. Um, so I, I kind of imagine a real sort of strong community basis uh, in a third world country.